Can I just, yeah, go ahead, can I just say one thing? You know, people in Barack Obama's White House, they didn't have to hire lawyers because there were no scandals in the White <laughs> House. What did he just say? No, I mean, it's true. No scandals? Right off the top of my head, I can think of quite a few. How about the IRS targeting scandal? That's when Obama and Lewis Lerner used the IRS to target his political opposition. Way back in October of 2017, the Justice Department settled multiple lawsuits over this scandal. Attorney General Jeff Sessions even said it was clear that the IRS was using inappropriate criteria to screen applications for tax-exempt status under the Obama administration. And they were targeting Tea Party and conservative groups. <laughs> even CNN calls it a scandal on their website. Or what about the Fast and Furious gun running scandal? If you don't remember, that's when the ATF was allowing cartels to purchase weapons illegally so that they could eventually track the guns to the cartels and then arrest them. Those guns ended up being used to slaughter Mexican civilians. When Congress subpoenaed Obama's Attorney General Eric Holder, he refused to comply and was even held in criminal contempt. That's the first time that's ever happened. Fortunately for him, Obama and the Department of Justice let him off the hook. Even John McCain blasted the Obama administration, saying, Your administration's disdain towards congressional authority and its failure to disclose public records feeds into its adversarial relationship with Congress and fuels public distrust in government. Did the media ever raise a fuss about this or spend every night trying to destroy Obama? Of course not. Quite the opposite. In fact, they ran cover for him and painted critics as partisan hacks that were just trying to pounce on Obama. Were there others besides these two huge scandals? Absolutely. Benghazi, spying on the Associated Press, the Landra, Obama's lies about the Affordable Care Act, the NSA spying scandal, paying $5 billion and releasing five Taliban prisoners for deserter Bergdahl, attacking Libya without congressional approval, covertly delivering $150 billion to Iran and lying about it. So, you know, That's the idea that... It's the way it is now. Well, no, I mean, I don't think it's just the, the times. I think it's the presidency. Well, I, that's what I mean. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It, it, it's like not all presidents are the same. Isn't it mind blowing that these people consider themselves honest journalists? You have to wonder, do these people know that they're full of it and they lie just to collect a check? Or are they really just this deluded and completely lacking in self-awareness? Back during the early years of the Obama administration, AM radio host Rush Limbaugh presented what he called the Limbaugh theorem. The Limbaugh theorem states that Obama is always seen as opposing everything bad that's happening in his administration, even when there's things that he is causing. Basically, Obama just acted like he had no involvement in anything negative that was happening in his administration, and the media helped him in that. The media was crucial to this strategy, as they played along and would spin the news to fit that narrative, and it worked perfectly for him. Another example of this is when Obama would praise high gas prices and say that they were necessary to stop people from driving as much, which would help the environment. Even as his energy secretary, Stephen Chu, laid out plans that showed increasing gas prices, the media still reported as if high gas prices were out of Obama's hands, like he could do nothing about it and had nothing to do with it. They are. So could these high prices help us? I think that I would have preferred a gradual adjustment. You wouldn't think high gas and oil prices would be a blessing in disguise, but they are. As Victor Lopez found out, they're causing a big jump in the number of jobs. We turn now to five things you should know about gas, specifically why gas prices, even at over $4 a gallon, can sometimes be a good thing. And we know that rising gas prices are forcing us to search for alternative fuels and more fuel-efficient cars. There are some other reasons to be optimistic about the high cost of gas. Here are just a few of them. 2,220 people have already been saved over the past year because a reduction in driving has led to less particle pollution in the air. So we've established that there absolutely were scandals under the Obama administration that even CNN documented on their website as scandals. Yet they brazenly lie in their on-air reporting with no pushback from any of the panel or the host. This is just another reason and a long list of reasons not to trust CNN. It's just political propaganda dressed up to look like journalism. It has no purpose or value other than destroying the political opposition of the Democrat Party. 